Hi, this is uh, Dr. Brinda Chanappa. I am obstetrician and gynecologist and I practice at Cloud9 Hospital, Jainagar, Bangalore. So, maternal health is very important. For example, if you have heart disease and uh, pre-existing heart disease, this will affect how the baby is going to grow and uh, how, depending on the heart disease, of course, there are ways for us to optimize the condition. If you have a septal defect, then we need to fix that before the pregnancy. We don't want that complication to happen after the pregnancy and then trying to do what is called as damage limitation at that point instead of optimizing the condition of the mother and um, if you have a heart disease say a valvular heart disease there's already the effect that uh, being a mother with a heart problem your child may be born with a heart problem so that way genetically there may be an uh, effect of uh, mother's illness on the child Aside from that, if we don't correct the heart cardiac problem, if you become too sick, we may be forced to deliver you early, thereby the baby is born early. So early baby, staying in NICU, having its own uh, list of struggles in the NICU, these are issues that we face. Sometimes the pregnancy is compromised with the mother getting very sick and uh, you know delivery may be compromised as well. So the, a whole lot of issues can come up. The other example I can take is thyroid, which we see commonly if you are hypothyroid. If we don't fix your thyroid before you get pregnant, to some extent, depending on your thyroid level, of course, the baby's brain development can get affected. So there is always an option for us to fix and try and sort these problems out before you get pregnant so that we decrease the effect of maternal complications which then decrease the effect on the baby as well.